implications there would have been in additional costs, really just to get this, the, the cargo from Big Creek to, to the city where the, the hub of the commercial is. That's, that's, that's where the cost would be. I think port charges would also be different, but they don't have stevedoring the way we have it. So maybe there's a different fee there, but the cost I think significant would be transferring it from Big Creek to the, to, to, to the city. That's where the extra cost would come in. But yes, they, they, that, that's an alternate. That's an, that's, a, that's an alternate option. But I want to go back to the option two. And I think that as we speak, the port is looking definitely, immediately looking at um, substitute, substitute workers in case we have a situation like this because the country cannot be held at ransom. And really, once it's formalized and done properly, it, it needs to be understood. The port has a right to get its work done. And substitute and having procedures in place to make sure that when this happens again, you can get the work done otherwise, not necessarily by force, because that's not what you want. And I think everybody would need to understand that because this is, an, this is something that I don't think, this is not just the CWU on the port, this is the country we are looking at. And I think this came pretty close to having been a, a much bigger problem that it ended up with, so I'm very, very happy that we were able to settle yesterday and we are back to normal right now.